Hey gamers, I am John of Video Games in the World. There have been popular video game series over the years that spawn live action movies, animated TV shows, and lately a live action TV show in the case of the Halo game series which I love since I was 18 years old. When I played the first game back in 2004, it is on the streaming app Paramount Plus and from what I heard it's good. Some people say it's good, other people say that it's bad because it doesn't respect much of the source material. Oh. While some like geeks and gamers will go around saying like, uh, "Who is SJW propaganda?" I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna, I'm, but I'm gonna watch it for myself. Not listen to reviews of the mainstream media nor the get well go broke guys. You know what I'm saying? But enough of that. Let's move on. So, like I said, a lot of movies have spawned a lot of video games that were so so popular. They spawned live action movies, animated TV shows, you know. Now, some of them were good, and some of them were horrendous abominations that should have never been made. Now, Sony has announced three new shows on Netflix and Amazon. When it comes to Netflix, we think of these following video game adaptations such as Castlevania, Minecraft, League of Legends Arcane, and the upcoming anime Tekken Bloodline. But what shows do we think about when it comes to Amazon? Well, these are the following that I can think of. The Men in the High Castle, The Boys, The Wheel of Time, Invincible, which I cannot stop watching over and over again because it's so damn good! The upcoming Lord of the Rings spin-off, Rings of Power, and so on. Okay, as I said, Sony announced these three new shows. These are well-known beloved video game series that we have loved since they were first released. And some of them are old school that we loved as kids and in our late teens as well. I'm talking about games like Horizon, God of War, and Gran Turismo. Horizon, God of War, and Gran Turismo are three award-winning game series and they're loved by their fans. I remember playing the first Gran Turismo when I was 12 the second game when I was 15, and I remember playing the first God of War when I was 20. Wow. Time surely flies, and to think that in a few days I will be 36 years old. Man. Didn't mean to reminisce, folks. As for Horizon, it's so damn awesome. Haven't played its sequel, Forbidden West, but all in due time. So, according to IGN, it is revealed in an investor briefing on May 26 and confirmed by industry insiders David Gibson on Twitter, Sony President Jim Ryan revealed during a Q&A that the company was expanding its entertainment adaptations even further. So, the long-rumored God of War series and other shows will join PlayStation executives including The Last of Us, Uncharted, and Ghost of Tsushima and being adapted into other media though there is no inclination as to when these series will be released. Lately, there have been projects for video game adaptations that are coming soon. Peacock has an upcoming Twisted Metal TV series, while HBO has a live-action adaptation of The Last of Us. Amazon Studios is currently working on a Fallout live-action series, as well as a Mass Effect TV series. I just hope they don't butcher it, though. And they got the right cast. Now, a Gran Turismo TV show shouldn't try to be like the Fast and the Furious series of movies. Since, of course, Gran Turismo is more about professional race car driving and racing and not some not street racing like Need for Speed. If there is to be a Gran Turismo TV series, then let it be more like Days of Thunder and Blue Crush. Great movies, by the way. Not like the Fast and Furious, which since the fifth movie, it became some Call of Duty thing. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, as much as I love the Fast and the Furious movies, Gran Turismo should not be like that. And bears repeating that it should be more like Blue Crush and Days of Thunder. Two great movies. So, Horizon has two successful titles and Guerrilla Games is thinking about making a third game, which is most likely to be successful. I can only hope they have the right casting. Like uh, Marie Avgeropoulos being Aloy. Yeah, Marie Avgeropoulos of the 100 fame being Aloy. 
As for God of War, it's been around since 2005 and people were hoping for a live action movie. And the 2018 video game was the best thing I've ever played in my life. Wow. I loved it. I just hope they get the right actor to play Kratos. Some people say that Jason Momoa should play him. So, what do you think of these three famous games becoming TV shows? Do you agree or not? Comment, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell button as well. I'm John of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. Later.